You know, people today are struggling to try to figure out uh, the purpose and meaning of their lives. Are you a woman? Um, and we see folks trying to explain who they are. That is me. That is her. Why they are the way they are. I love doing drag because it makes me feel amazing and self-expressive. And what they think would make life more meaningful or purposeful for them. My body, my choice, my body, my choice. And in so many ways, what they're doing is they are missing out on the most fundamental, basic reality in the world. And that is that all people are made in the image of God. God's the creator who brought this world into existence. People are made in his image to inhabit this world. And God has spoken to us as his image bearing people, telling us how the world works and how we can live best in it. The most important verse in all the Bible, I believe, is Genesis chapter one, verse one, that says, in the beginning, God. When we look at what God has done in the Old and New Covenants, what we see is this two-sided coin again and again and again. This outworking of the physical creation and this recreation of the fallen men. These are not separate things. These are not things at cross purposes. These are things that work together. Incidentally, there are a lot of words in the Bible that are not super well defined. They're exemplified. We're finding that with justice right now. It's like everybody's for justice. Social justice, like as opposed to what? Like antisocial injustice or what? I mean, I'm for justice. Yeah, I must be on board. Eh, not so fast. What do you mean by justice? We as conservatives uh, regularly describe our fears about this deep state, this, this unelected bureaucracy in Washington that controls all things that we can't actually get our hands on and address, even though they're steering all sorts of things. But I, I believe that the fundamental deep state in America is the education system. Imagine uh, putting your kids in the first boats to land at, on the Normandy Beach invasion. Uh, and think of the casualty rate that, they, that would be inflicted upon them during that invasion. If you think about that for a moment and then compare that to what's happening to our kids as they go off to college and fall away from the faith, you'll see that actually they will be far safer on the Normandy Beach invasion than they would be in our typical American college now. And yet, if you think about it a little bit more, you realize that on the Normandy Beach, they lost their mortal lives, whereas on the college campus, they're losing their immortal soul. You know the D on the Detroit Tigers hat? Can you imagine if your Bible were all written in Old English? You'd read a while like, man, I, I'm just tired. I, I read a chapter. You got a nice tea. You know, no, we have a print that flows a little bit. That's aesthetics. What if the janitor, maybe it's a Taco Bell. Maybe he doesn't clean up in the kitchen. Maybe people die of food poisoning. That's not how I think about janitorial work. Well, maybe you should. The janitor matters. That's a calling. It may not be a glorious calling, but neither is washing feet. And being the one who created the heavens and the earth means that he is the one who defines what the heavens are. Bruce lives a lie. She is not a lie. The land doesn't get to say, I think it'd be great if sharks were able to swim around on me. Well, that's not the way the world works. That is not the world that we are living in. God is the one who gives purpose. This is God's world. He created it by himself, for himself, and everything in it belongs to him, and everything in it exists for him, including you and me. Well, if I understand that, then that will immediately put me on a trajectory of being able to think rightly and live well in the world because it belongs to God.